What is up guys? Welcome back. So there are a lot of new monsters that have been added to the patch. Um, so we're going to be going through all their skills because it wasn't released um, when the when the patch notes actually came out. So I'm going to be going through all their skills now and then we can just take a look and see if some of those monsters are are useful. I'm definitely looking forward to some of the three star ones for my my like extreme free to play account so I can um, see if I can make them useful. So let's start with the snowman first, um, or the snow e. That's I guess that's what they're called. I'm pretty sure everybody got their names wrong. All right, there's no way anyone guessed their names right in that name guessing event. Um, so the snowy has a taunt, 80% chance on his first skill, and a 60% chance to sap on his second skill, which is I think pretty. I don't know. I, I think it's it's not that good, um, to be honest. I mean, this is an okay sap. I mean, this is an okay taunt as well. But there are definitely better sappers. Like if you, I don't know, if you have, uh, if you have like Yuki or something. Actually, wait, no, not everyone has Yuki because she's a four-star monster. But like, I think he's mainly used for the fusion for the event. Um, I'm not sure if you want to make him a sapper because there's no, there's no like water dungeon like B789. None of them are, are. Uh, are fire, you know, so you don't need a water team. Like, I think the the time the time where like sappers might be useful is like when a player is starting to get into B, um, you know, B seven eight nine. Like that's kind of the time when like sappers become somewhat useful, um, because they can just abuse the fact that you just build tankiness on on your sappers and you don't have to worry about anything else, and they can still do damage, and. Um, but I think at past that point, um, like sappers become a lot like they start falling off because like dragons are immune to saps and stuff. So I don't think I don't think he's really really uh, viable in my opinion. That's just my personal opinion. All right, don't 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 freak out. Don't freak out. Um, let's let's go through the fire versions of all, all those monsters first. We're gonna, we're gonna go down the elements. All right, we're gonna go down every single element. Um, so I guess this is one of the new ones, right? So this one has attack down, uh, 70%. What what is he called? Menelan. What the fuck is Menelan? Okay. Anyways, he has a he's single target. All right, he's single target, but he does have a nice variant skill which increases defense um, everywhere by 20 to 25%. So he has attack down 70% chance for two turns. This is this is actually pretty good. Uh, this is a Pretty good attack down skill, I think, compared to a lot of other attack downs. Uh, recovery down 80% for for two turns, but this is only single target, so it's not he's not that great of a debuffer. This is the worm tail. Um, right, so the worm tails have resilience buff, 10 to 15%, with him only being a two star. Um, stun for 50% 50 chance to stun and defense down for for 80%. I'm guessing since this is a really really high activation rate that his second skill is probably a single target skill. Yeah, it's probably single target. It's uh, a very low chance that it's actually AoE. This one's AoE though. This one this one has an AoE skill. Um, this is the Roka. He has he has sap on his first skill 40% for two turns. Um, these chances are way 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 too low, I think. But the leader skills of some of the t these two-star monsters are really good because um, HP global HP leader and like global defense leader, global resistance leader, um, and then this is an AOE stun for 40%. I guess there are better options than than using this. All right, they they were gonna call it the Roboni or something, but I guess they changed the name. Um, so this is the Bell Pup. It has Soul Boon. I don't think this is all that useful, but it's a healer, and it actually has a global um, recovery skill. And these aren't affected by the like you know these types of skills aren't affected by the skill the, the percent rates. Like this is I think a usable monster. This is definitely a usable monster. Um, also, zeal um, increases SP gain, which means you can get more SP for no more nukes and all that, all that good stuff. And he also has like bonus recovery, which is really nice. It makes makes your heals heal for more. Um, this might be definitely usable on my on my free to play account. This might be one of the stronger fire healers. One of the stronger farmable fire healers, I think. 
Might be a really good monster for um for farming B9 or something. Alright, so we're looking at the water version now. Um, 60% chance to sleep, 80% chance fatigue. These two debuffs are pretty unimportant, so so next. Um, sap 50%, petrify 80%, but it's only single target, so... Alright, all right, that's, that's, that's not very useful. Recovery down, sap. 60%, 60% is actually not that bad. But recovery down is kind of, kind of useless too, so... So next, 50% chance attack down. This isn't too low, alright? This is two turns for 50% chance. This is actually not bad. Um, recovery down, allies two turns recovery that increases HP recovered from all sources. So, and he has recovery recovery buff. This one's a definitely use. This one's definitely usable as well. I think this one might be a pretty good water healing monster. Um, I'm, I'm kind of excited to look at the, the wood one, but we're going to go up the list. Um, Petrify, Sap, 80%, single target. Nope. Um, attack down, recovery down, but only single target as well. Attack down, defense down. 50% chance attack down, 40% chance defense down for AoE. This is two turns, so this is not bad. But this is actually... I don't think I don't think this is high enough. Like forty percent is actually really really low. Oh, this one has vigor, vigor and stun. Forty percent stun. This is kind of low, but vigor is always nice. I think the fire version might be the the best one since it's only a two star. Um, the soul boon and the the SP buff isn't isn't affected by by its um, by its rarity. You know, it's basically these these two are like you know always static. Um, so I guess this one might might be the most usable one. I wonder if there's a light dark version of those monsters. Nope, there isn't. Uh, there's also the two capturable monsters on the two maps. I think there's a tiger one. Where, where's the tiger? Where is the tiger? Alright, there's a tiger and a dragon. And are there other elements to that? Oh yeah, there are. There's wood. There's also light as well, and there's light and dark. Alright, um, we're going to take a look at all those as well. So this has defense down 60% chance. Three turns. So this is this is definitely pretty good. Sap is also... Well, I guess Sap is nice as well. Um, you can definitely use this monster like if you're... If you happen to have one, and you can... You're moving... Like if you happen to like capture... I don't know if you, how many you can capture, but like, you know... Maybe there's a scripted scenario for this as well. Um, but you can probably use it for like B9 and stuff. Definitely usable. He's balance type. Uh, this one, this one's an attacker. Stalker HP siphon. Stalker's like a decent skill. It's, it's not the it's not the best um, attack passive skill, but you know it's it's still better than nothing. He also has an HP leader, so if he ha can happen to get him as a variant, that's also really nice. This one has an attack leader, like a global attack leader, which is really good as well. Um, Taunt defense down, 70% chance. Yes, yeah, 70% chance two turn death break for for AOE is actually pretty good. He's defender type, so you can you can use the taunt to um, absorb some damage. Holy shit, he has seal. Yeah, they're definitely introducing a lot more seal to counter the the stupid um, defense aggressors. He has a 60% seal. And an AoE defense break for for seventy percent. Yeah, this is a strong monster. This is definitely one of the stronger ones, I think. And he has uh, HP leader. If you can get him as a variant, I think we're gonna definitely see a lot more of these in the arena very very soon. Um, that is a really good PV PVP monster, I think. Predator stun. This is good. Predator sixty percent chance um, AoE stun, and Predator is like really really strong attack skill. Although it's only a 4 star predator, so it's, so it's only 30%. But he has attack type, so I guess I guess that's always good. Fatigue and Thirst, uh, next. Alright, I'm sorry for ignoring like those debuffs, but they're not really, like, you know, they haven't been all, all that useful. Um, 
So this one's this one has sleep and hunter. I think the doorbell just rang. I'm gonna finish up very soon. Um, sleep is 100% sleep for two turns. Definitely useful. Hunter is really nice. Um, light monsters get 10% extra crit rate, so hunter more crit damage is always really really good. Um, this one also has an AOE seal. Aggression. Defense aggressor with seal. Holy shit, an HP leader. Dude, anyone that gets this is living the fucking dream. Um, morale boost, attack down. I guess this is very similar to the Water Arthur, so it's, I guess, kind of like a mini Water Arthur. And this is uh, recovery down sleep, so I guess sleep is really sleep for one, one turn is actually pretty good. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to finish up here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.